Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving assurance as the chairman of the Rules Committee. But, Mr. Speaker, I just want to show concern that the chairs of various committees are getting an excuse, uh, getting away with uh, not responding adequately. The last parliament were here for five years, and we were able to get at least uh, nearly sufficient answers. So as we are waiting for the Rules Committee to make those amendments, can the chairs of the committees up their game or leave for others who can do the work in the meantime? Because this is not, uh, you didn't come for a ride in the park, Mr. Speaker. So let them do their work, because even as we speak, we are seeing uh, farmers from the rift complaining. There's a guy who was crying, who was about to ban his, uh, I think many of us have seen him in uh, social media, who is about to ban his produce because they can't even be bought. So while we are saying that, don't give us long, long, long speeches when farmers are suffering. Let us, let, let them deal, and even if necessary, let the CSS meet in committees. They don't have to come and meet us in the whole house, especially when you have a, a monumental crisis like this one regarding maize. Thank you, Chair, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Mili, committees are under very clear standing order direction. They can summon, invite ministers at any time they want to talk to them, to interrogate them, and bring any information they get to the floor. Uh, the Honorable Member for Madare, yes, Oluwaji. Give the Honorable Oluwaji the mic. Oluwaji, you can't be traced on the screen. There's one near you, flipping. There you are. Let me use this one. Uh, thank you, Honorable Speaker, as I uh, acknowledge the response given to Honorable Posing's question. Honorable Speaker, the House will recall that uh, these issues arose out of a motion of adjournment last week in which we discussed larger issues, much larger than the question of maize and uh, issues arising from the safety 